Hey, E.T. Are you excited, buddy? You're getting your fresh, clean water dirty. That's your job, isn't it? But seriously, are you excited, little man? Guess what? You're gonna have some serious fun next year. Is there any way I can persuade you to please reconsider fouling your water? Here, I have this for you. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. He's like, psych, we're going in the water. Oh no, E.T. Oh man, why'd you do that to me? Why? Dude, you're a funny guy, I tell you. Okay, I have been anxiously waiting for this box to arrive all day. So let's get home and make sure everybody in there is fine. It's a combination of being incredibly excited and nervous. We have very, very exciting animals that have arrived here, friends. So I cannot wait to unbox them and show you. As always, a special thank you to Reptile Express for their wonderful shipping service. Frank, thank you for the animals. Let's get in here. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty nervous right now just because the shipment is super important and has very rare animals. So that's why I'm so quiet. Oh man, I'm so excited. So first thing we have our cryo pack here. And this is to keep the temperature safe inside the box during traveling. And here we go, the first of the turtles. So here is one of three black breasted leaf turtles. These are the Geomida spangleri. And as you already know, I have one juvenile male named E.T. But now we have three new animals. So here's one. Here is the second one. Hello. And then the third one was packed here in this bag and you can feel them moving around. So that is a very reassuring sign. And this is the smallest of the three. And I believe uh, this is the one Frank thinks is a male. However, I also know that speaking with Anthony Pierre Leone, who as some of you may know, is the author of the book on keeping black breasted leaf turtles. He seems to think that all three of these animals are female, but I guess we'll have a closer look and see for sure. Okay, so I just want to find a safe way to undo the zip tie because it's kind of, you know, you got to be safe with these things. There we go. Let's get our little turtle friend out of the bag. Already see and smell that there's some poop here. Hi, little one. There we go. You can see them just in there. Oof, oof, lots of poop. You're okay. Okay, so here they are. Hello. Oh my goodness. So adorable. So looking at the tail here, I would probably say that this is for sure a female, not a male. We don't want to stress them too much, but if we were to compare this to ET, really short tail. E.T.'s tail is quite larger. And on top of this, you can also see the iris isn't clear and white the way it looks on E.T. So this is definitely a, a younger female. Perfect. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna 
quickly show you guys. So what I had set up here, actually, now that everybody's safe, which is a huge relief. I can't even tell you how happy I am about this. Of course, I have three containers. And what we're gonna do is give each animal a, a gentle soak. So we'll just put a little bit of water and supervise them in each container like so. And this will just be to make sure that they're well hydrated and uh, just doing okay after the trip. So we'll add a bit of water and to clean them off because there was some feces on this turtle in particular, right? But they look phenomenal. I'm gonna message Frank now and thank him so much for these beautiful animals. Then we'll get to soaking them. Wow. And this is the adult size of the turtles, just about here. They don't get very much bigger than this. They max out at around 11 centimeters. So these are pretty well adult females. Hello. Okay. So yeah, again, very short tail on this animal. We'll gently place her here. And then we have one more here that we'll remove as well. This is the last of the Spengler eye. This one's a pretty good size. So this one is also very clearly female. So there you go, friends. There are the three Spengler eye, AKA cutest turtles in the world. There you go. Time to give water to the first of the three girls. I'm just gonna put some RO water in here. Just a bit. Just like that. I'm just going to put a lid on her here. She looks like she's getting ready to drink a little bit, which is a great sign. Now we'll give water to the next turtle. Lastly, we have this big girl. And we'll give her some water now too. I gave my newly arrived leaf turtles about half an hour to 45 minutes to soak in the baths. And as you'll see here, some of them even took it upon themselves to have a nice little drink in there too. So now I really want to show you guys how I went about setting these animals up a few weeks before they arrived. Here you can see I'm using Sterilite bins that fit the minimum dimensions recommended for keeping this species around 24 inches in length and 18 inches in width. They're a little off that and I think I would like to upgrade them in the future but this is going to work great for now. For lighting we're using a whole series of Arcadia bulbs. The animals will have 6% UVB above them and I may use the Jungle Dawn LED over the lights as well. I haven't quite decided because these animals do live in the understory of Vietnamese jungles and I'm not sure how sensitive sensitive they'll be to that amount of light. We'll see and kind of gauge it based on how they behave, if they hide a lot, that sort of thing. But this is where we're going to be installing the lights up top. So let's do that now. Now, because these animals are particularly dirty, I don't want to go fully bioactive with them per se. I prefer to create the ideal substrate mix for them and replace it regularly as they foul it with fecal material and maybe oversaturation from spilling water dishes, things like that. It's just a lot easier to just take out, clean and replace than try and go bioactive with this type of animal. Turtles can be super dirty. That's not to say it can't be done. I I just think it's going to be easier to maintain a healthy environment for each animal in the long run. So that's what we're doing here. The substrate mix I'm using here is a combination of coconut core or coconut fiber, a bunch of cypress mulch, as well as sort of an ABG mix consisting of peat moss, some coconut shell or coconut husk pieces and a bit of sphagnum moss. This is a good blend that will retain the adequate amount of humidity necessary for these humid loving turtles. We're going to blend everything together and mix it well and then I'm going to place the substrate in each of the three bins that will be housing the turtles for when they would arrive. Lastly, all I need to do here is add a bit of foliage for cover as well as a few cork hollow hides for them to feel more secure and their water dish for soaking. 
And that friends is essentially what I did to prepare these enclosures for the turtles arrival. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all if you could keep any turtle in the world as a pet, what would it be and why? For me, honestly, my heart is still set on the Geomida Spengleri. They're just the cutest, most practical and beautiful turtle out there for keeping as an indoor pet. They're small size. Yeah, I just, I really don't see a turtle out there that competes or rivals them. A lot of turtles just get too big. Most turtles are very messy. Aquatic turtles are usually a lot messier than terrestrial ones as far as the maintaining and upkeep goes. So they're just perfect. Maxing out at 11 centimeters. Couldn't really ask for better options. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this question. As always, I'll give your comment a heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Okay friends, so now that the turtles have been given a solid amount of time to soak and rehydrate, it's time to move these ladies into their future homes. So we're gonna start here and move each turtle one by one into the enclosures. Hello. All right guys, we are going to start moving the tortellinis into the enclosures. Hello beautiful. Are you ready to go into your new home? You must be. Look at that. Well, this looks like a good spot for her. So if you look at the plastering of the animal, naturally this is how they get their name, black-breasted leaf turtle. And of course, dorsally, their shell kind of looks a bit like an enlarged leaf. Okay. Here we go. Here you go, beautiful. I hope you like it. She's like, Whoa, where am I? Oh, man, E.T., if you knew what's going on over here, you would be very excited. What about you, pretty girl? Are you next? So this was the supposed male, but I really do think, again, as well as Anthony, that this is actually a female. Doesn't really seem... Like it could be male, but I guess time will tell. All right, little friend. Welcome to your home. Just gonna set you there. After moving the third turtle over, everybody is situated. I also moved E.T. onto this same shelf to the far left. I think it looks really great. Understandably, they're pretty shy. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun to see them get to the point where they're like E.T. who just like, from across the enclosure is like, oh sick, you wanna feed me? I'm down. Come on, buddy. Dun da 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 dun dun da da dun dun da da He's like, yes, I am ready. Feed me all the things. Oh, yowzer. Yeah, he loves literally everything I give him. I don't think there's anything he doesn't like. He's a good boy. Here you go, friends. I really hope you enjoyed meeting the turtles. I'm so excited to have them. They're absolutely cute and very cool animals. This is gonna be a very exciting project for me. I hope that in a year or two, or maybe sooner, who knows, we'll be able to breed these animals. Having three females and one male, E.T. is gonna be a busy boy, that's for sure. I just want to take a quick moment to sincerely thank Frank for making this dream a reality. Truly, I'm so grateful and I'm feeling incredibly blessed that I get to work with this species. I mean, I don't know how this is even possible. I got my first black breasted leaf turtle, E.T., last October. And by some miracle, it was a male animal. For those of you that are unaware, apparently males are 
pretty hard to come by, let alone any of them at all. It's because they sort of produce female heavy and it's not quite certain that uh, temperature sex determination is possible with these animals but incubating for the lowest temperatures possible would be the right thing to do to try and get more males. And then yeah, you know, I, I kind of was on the lookout for a female for ET and this opportunity came here. So Frank, thank you so much for these incredible animals. I really, really appreciate the opportunity and uh, it's nice to stay in touch and I'll be sure to provide you with plenty of updates on how they're doing. Without further ado, I think we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed seeing these magical little turtles and you're going to be seeing a lot more of them on the channel soon. Alright, take care everybody. If you want to see more videos pertaining to black breasted leaf turtles, check out my playlist up above and I look forward to seeing you all for our next video. Take care.